The famous sun and surf in Southern California may look glamorous, but what beachgoers can't see in some of the ocean water here is anything but attractive. When we have um, runoff from the urban environment, it could be carrying with it contamination due to animal waste, uh, sewage overflows, and if those enter the beaches through the normal pipes that terminate in the ocean, uh, you want to avoid contact with water during those periods. The water around Santa Monica Pier is among the most polluted in the state, but beachgoers here don't seem to mind. We can't really help it. There's like bacteria everywhere, so it's not really my concern. But public health officials are concerned. Well, there are a number of infectious diseases that could be transmitted in ocean water. The water quality at the beaches is monitored with a lab test. If the quality is poor, a sign like this is posted. But it doesn't necessarily reflect what's in the water that day. Right now, it takes 18 to 24 hours to get those water quality results. But we think that that's you know, a little ridiculous because we want people to know the day of when they're going in the water whether or not they could be getting sick. Scientists in California are developing what they call a predictive modeling system that could speed up the process. It can take 15 minutes to produce a similar result in terms of a public health decision. With the help of computers, researchers pull data from the environment and predict the water quality for that day. It's called now casting. Some of the environmental factors may include wind speed and direction, wave information, and historic bacterial counts. But all the different beaches are unique in their own way, so the models have to be tailor-made for each beach. We think that the modeling that we've seen so far is um, generally more ac uh, accurate than the predictions or than the testing that we're doing. And the reason for that is that even though it's a model and it's predicting water quality, it's more timely. Hong Kong and the state of Ohio have similar methods of predicting water quality. Experts on the west coast of the U.S. say predictive modeling may be the best tool they've got until technology advances and offers a faster way of testing this water in the lab. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.